you can also use uh, a typical appointment system usually we have a basic understanding that uh, today i will come at 6 o'clock and that is how you communicate and every day you go at 6 o'clock suppose instead of that even if the patient also knows that you are coming at 6 o'clock even you know that you are going at 6 o'clock but you need to book daily appointment now there can be two ways you can do book the appointment one you can use a software like uh, there is a practice software which can help you to uh, generate the uh, appointment or you can use a whatsapp like whenever i go to home visit i i always send um, um, that day's appointment um, uh, on the whole group of the home visit group or you can this is individually like today i am going to come at six o'clock so uh, uh, this message should be sent to them in morning or in advance even if you go at the same day uh, same time uh, every day you still need to send that message that i am coming at six o'clock seven o'clock ten o'clock this uh, tells the patients that you are so much committed to your work okay uh, and if you are able you are not able to go uh, some day because of any uh, reason please send the cancellation message or call up uh, is always better you call up the patient in advance at least 2 hours before you um, cancel the appointment um, many a time when we don't go we just send them a message that i am not coming and sometimes they don't watch the message and suddenly when the time comes and then they think that um, uh, the therapist was supposed to come and he did not come and then he checks the phone and then he find that uh, you have cancelled the session and then he will have a bad experience and he will get disappointed because they are actually eagerly waiting for you at home you are like god for them you are the person who are changing their life so we need to get very professional here so um, please call up and tell them uh, you are not coming or you send the message in advance like a uh, few hours before or you can send in the morning only and when you cancel um, uh, don't give any stupid reasons like uh, my bike is punctured or uh, my friend uh, came to meet me because of that uh, i uh, couldn't come if you send the message and inform the patient in advance you can say because any personal reason i cannot make um, uh, i cannot make today's appointment i cannot come to visit you today uh, so please excuse me and um, sorry for the inconvenience like that you can make a small conversation or send a small message in advance you don't need to give a details why you did not come because uh, giving your personal details why did not come is not a very very professional uh, thing unless you have a very genuine reason like there is a big accident happening in your personal life and uh, someone close to you and you want to tell them the severity why you couldn't come then you should uh, inform otherwise uh, if you advance uh, give the information and advance you don't have to give a lot of excuses uh, the patient will also understand that you are not able to come then also maintain the log of appointment when you go to the patient please maintain a log you should have some system that you should maintain a log how many appointment you have completed and there should be written information in the patient's house as well as with you so uh, the simple way you can do that you can put that on the calendar you can uh, put the calendar on that calendar you can write your name or sign and you completed the appointment or you can put a sheet there at the patient's home where whenever you complete the appointment you sign it there and you should also have the same copy with you or you can then, uh, send a message that to, um, uh, where the appointment is completed like in practo there is a software when you go uh, visit the patient um, uh, he will say that uh, you have arrived and the, the session is completed the patient will get the um, completion um, uh, session uh, uh, the message of completion or if you cancel the patient will automatically get a uh, message that the session is cancelled like that you can use a professional software also or you can um, maintain a log so you can maintain a log on paper or you can maintain a log in um, excel sheet in your phone or you can maintain a log in um, google sheet and uh, all this information has to collected and should be shared with both the parties so that both of you know that you have com uh, completed the session okay and send report weekly or monthly i suggest you should send weekly uh, report because uh, everybody remembers that uh, from um, uh, monday to sunday how many days you came and if you try to uh, recollect uh, in the whole month how many appointments are done and how many cancel it is very difficult to remember and this report has to be always sent on sunday like what i follow in my life like even if i start the uh, patient on friday so in that week i did three session like friday saturday and sunday so at the end of the sunday i will say uh, in this week you have done three appointments 
So the next week always starts from Monday to Sunday. So in a week, how many appointments is done? So out of seven days, you have completed five appointments. So the patient also gets information that how many sessions are completed in that week. So this will give a good log that how many sessions you have completed in the whole month. And um, then it will not uh, create uh, complications like uh, you uh, claim that you have done 20 sessions in a month. The patient says, no, you have done only 18 sessions in the month. And this will uh, create a bad experience for both the parties. So if you have a clear understanding and you report them regularly, then these small uh, issues can be avoided.